Hey folks, mild evening across the valley. Temperatures are still above our normal highs for this time of year. 71 Raymondville, Harlingen, Port Isabel, Brownsville, 73 to 75 across the upper valley. A very mild night out there. You may have noticed humidity is coming up a little bit. Dew points all the way up to 71 now. So we're all back into that very humid range. Almost the humidity levels you would see in the summertime. Not quite, but really close. You notice that if you step outside, you can feel it in a hurry. Tomorrow's high temperatures back in the 80s across most of the area. Again, a little cooler at the beach, about 75. If you're headed out there for the causeway run, temperatures will be in the 70s throughout the run. Walk whichever you choose to do. 70 is the normal high, and we're going to go 83, 83, 85 the next three days. So no sign of winter here anytime soon. Let's look at future tracks. See if we can find some clouds or showers or anything. And yes, there will be clouds tomorrow. A lot like today, kind of a mix of clouds and sunshine. Like today, a couple of sprinkles, but probably nothing more than that. No measurable rainfall, I don't think. And Sunday, kind of the same situation, except Sunday, the wind machine starts to crank up again. And by Sunday afternoon, you're looking at winds gusting to over 40 miles an hour, probably, like what we saw earlier in the week when winds were gusting almost 50 in Harlingen. It may get close to that again on Sunday. That'll make it fun for the marathon in McAllen, I'm sure. Hopefully it'll be done before the wind cranks up. And then on Monday, I think we're still looking at that cloud-sun mixture, but probably a little more sunshine and, and drier conditions, a little drier than what we're looking at tomorrow. And again, Sunday and Monday, we're looking at just mainly dry with about a 5% chance for a shower. Look at the temperatures across Texas. Austin's still 58, Abilene's 33, a front sitting right in through here. You can kind of pick it out right where it is on the weather map. And the front not moving much. It's just kind of hanging out in that same area. Eventually, it turns into a stationary front, and then it fades away. The cold air stays north, and the warm air stays south, and we happen to be in the warm sector of that. Another front does show up on the map coming in from the west by Sunday, but it's very slow to move eastward because the north end of it's taken off to the north. That's where all the support is for it. So it just kind of works its way slowly but surely in our direction, probably passing through sometime Tuesday. Could trigger a brief shower, but for the most part, nothing big. And if there's any cool down, It'll just be a couple of degrees, it looks like, right now. Headed to the beach in the morning, 72 to start the day. Southeasterly winds, temperatures hold steady in the 70s through the afternoon. UV index is moderate, as is the rip current risk. The surf temperature is 65. The bay temperature right now is at 67. With a moderate chop, there are the tides. So tonight, we bottom out in the upper 60s. Partly to mostly cloudy. Could be a brief sprinkle. Then tomorrow, back up to 83. A lot of clouds again. A sprinkle possible in at least a few spots. So here we go, 83, 83, 85 for Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, along and behind the front, we take it all the way down to 78 and 79. And by the end of next week, right back up in the upper 80s again. Some of the long range models hint at a front all about day eight or nine. But until then, we stay well above the seasonal average. That's your updated first one five forecast. We'll be back right after this.